Rift Valley is an open wound in the heart of Africa. A line of fire and water that in a few million years will provoke the fatal rupture of the continent. From Djibouti to Mozambique, the earth will open to create a drifting world, a runaway of capes, gulfs and meridians towards the sea, an illusion of a geography in disorder. But this will occur so far in the future that we can still disregard the geologist's recommendations. In the meantime, the Ethiopian section of the Rift Valley confirms its attachment to the mainland as a territory generous with life. My name is Wendos Enasfefa. I'm 28 years old, and although I was born in Addis Abeba, Ethiopia's capital, I spent most of my life in Cuba, where I studied to become a veterinary surgeon. I am one of the 6,000 children who held a scholarship granted by the Ethiopian government to study in Cuba's own specialty that didn't exist here. Those were difficult years. The war and continuous drought make survival impossible. Somehow, those who left for Cuba felt really privileged. We had the chance of studying and learning the meaning of important words such as dignity and future. Here in Africa, the future is nothing. Only the present is worthy. And with our minimum of conscience of what is to come, progress becomes very difficult. <laughs> Two years ago, when Dosen returned to Ethiopia and traveled to the south to practice his profession among the cattle dealer tribes of the river Omo, where his veterinary skills could be more useful. But he has not lost contact with Cuba. Every two or three months, Wendosan returns to Addis Abeba, where he meets up with his old colleagues. The reunion takes place at the Havana Club, a bar with a deep Caribbean flavor. The Havana Club was born as a consequence of the need the Ethiopian Cuban people had to feed their memories. They got together, recuperated the music they had brought from Cuba, and found a way to import the rum and other products that could make them feel closer to the island. Every evening, the bar fills with nostalgic people who chant and play domino with a Caribbean passion. Lo mío sí es grande, compadre. Tú sabes cuánto tiempo estuve en Cuba, casi 19 años. 19. Me fui en el 78, me acuerdo, compadre, que era un barco que se llamaba África Cuba. Ah, la más grande que tenía Cuba en aquel momento. <ríe> en aquel momento era nueva, que iba para allá, ¿no? Sí. Y nos fuimos para allá, compadre. Y luego nos fuimos para la isla, yo me acuerdo, compadre, que era algo diferente, ¿no? Luego me fui para, para las villas a estudiar ingeniería industrial. La, la, la provincia central del, del país. Muchachos, en de pelota las... éramos los mejores, chicos. Sí, en pelota, tú sabes que la pelota me encanta. El dominó, 
la cerveza, la pesca, no, coño, eso era bueno. Che. Lo mejor que hay de la vía es el ambiente. Nosotros teníamos un grupo, ¿no? Que todo el mundo andaba junto, que la playa, qué sé yo. Bueno, ahí no existía playa, pero bueno, la playa era un poquito más lejana. Sí. Pero existe la piscina de la universidad, el gimnasio, hacíamos deporte, bailábamos de noche, que eso era bien, no, coño. Eso es lo más rico que hay en la, en la cuestión esa. ¿Qué pasa, hombre? When I stay in the south, I live in Tarmi, a small town quite near to the tribe I work with. I usually get up early at dawn. That is the moment when the village starts its daily activities. In the 80s, the communist government of Mijitsu, who dethroned the Emperor Haile Selassie, came to an agreement with Fidel Castro. The sons of some of the fallen during the war could move to Cuba, where they would have the opportunity to study to become graduates at the university. Many of them stayed there, others emigrated to Europe or the United States, and a number of them came back to work in the administration or to work in agriculture. Now, the best doctors, engineers, and technicians who work in Ethiopia have been educated in Cuba. When Dosen decided to work among the southern tribes, a universe dominated by magic and precariousness, and where it is not at all easy to enter as a white coat sorcerer. If there is something that you learn when you live abroad, it is to love your country. Before going to Cuba, I was just a boy, and had hardly been a few kilometers beyond Addis Abeba. Now it is quite different. Now, during every trip I make between the south and the capital, I take the chance of observing the natural beauties that Ethiopia hides, those large spaces of wild countryside, which I had always dreamt of. The first time I heard about the Rift Valley, I was 14 and was studying in Cuba. The professor of geography used to tell us that within that enormous fissure, there were many lakes formed by the water that came boiling up from the center of the earth. Lakes and rivers with imagined in origin according to the villages of the area where there lived such an amount of animals that we could not even begin to imagine. He also told us that someday that fertile and mysterious land would disappear forever. I look at the map and dreamt of returning to my country in time to see this place before it disappears. Later on, I discovered that I would have time enough indeed, but I never forgot my dream of spending my life here. According to the geologists, the division of the continent, this fissure that Wendosan was so worried about when he was a child, will take place in 30 million years, 